What's up, everybody? Joe White here, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about the CM Punk return angle from last night on SmackDown. Now, next week's SmackDown is already taped, which is weird that the go-home show before Survivor Series is taped, but they want to give everybody Thanksgiving off, and they don't want to have them traveling around the country. Um, I'm assuming everybody will spend Thanksgiving with their family, I don't think WWE has any house shows this weekend. Obviously, they don't have any next weekend. So they'll spend Thanksgiving with their family. They'll do Raw Live on Monday, I'm guessing. Unless that's taped as well. I haven't really had a chance to look. Um, and then Friday morning, everybody will get up and board planes and head to, head to uh, Canada for the big Survivor Series show. Looking forward to it. Um, I will say this, last night's return was pretty pretty darn awesome, and this is as of 9 o'clock this morning. Um, this was as, as of 9.30 this morning. 1.5 million views for that segment on WWE's YouTube channel in less than 12 hours. Um, the USA Network's YouTube video of the same. Because they have a WWE on USA YouTube channel. Nearly 800,000 views on that. The clip on the Facebook page. On WWE's Facebook page. 1.4 million plays. So you add that up. And you got almost three, about 3 million. Over 3 million. Views. In less than 12 hours. That's insane. That's crazy. Um. Let me see here. I, you know, Paul Heyman coming back. Look on your screen here. This is a different Paul Heyman. I picked up on it straight away. This is not the completely dapper, clean-cut Paul Heyman that we're used to seeing. This is a little bit more of a rugged Paul Heyman. Yes, he's still got the, the, the sport coat on, the, the, the dress, the suit coat, suit jacket, if you will. He's got the pocket square, the shoes, the trousers, but he's not wearing a full-on suit. There's no tie there. There's no vest. There's no dress shirt. It's just a red T-shirt that he's wearing underneath of it. Um, not full-on business. Business casual, Paul Heyman, if you will. And uh, let's cut to this this next photo right here. This was later on in the segment. Look at how he's looking at Roman Reigns. Now, later on, they would do a uh, what went down after they go off the air thing, and he does the deal where he ha he does the his hands pr together in the praying pose, praying mantis thing, and he's looking at uh, Roman Reigns like he would look at the tribal chief. But uh, I, I could not help. But wonder, there's a couple ways they could go with this. One way is, oh, the baby faces win at Survivor Series. The new bloodline is vanquished. The problem is, what do you do with those guys after that? Especially someone like a, a you know, like a Jacob Fatu. But uh, who I think Jacob Fatu's got star written all over him. But... To me, it's like, okay, what do you do then? What do you do when the new bloodline, the, the fake bloodline, goes away and the OG bloodline's standing tall? You could continue the feud, but what's the point? They've already been vanquished. They've already been beaten. In fact, every, almost every single time it's been Solo versus Roman, one-on-one -on -one in the ring as a result of these brawls, Solo's got his ass kicked. We already know that Roman can beat up on Solo. In fact, the very first week on SmackDown that he came back, um, he was kicking Solo Sokoa's butt. So I'm kind of glad that this is already could be coming to an end. I'm already sick of seeing it. However, if you look at Paul Heyman's face right there, that is old evil Paul cooking up a scheme. And what if 
what if, you know, CM Punk is back and maybe him and Paul turn on Roman Reigns. You know, CM Punk again took that month off because he didn't want to do the Saudi show. He never does want to do Saudi shows. But, which is fine. I get, you know, Punk needs to disappear every now and then. Get that time off. Guys get time off now. He wants his time off too. Um, but I have to wonder, does this mean Drew McIntyre is going to come back at Survivor Series? Maybe Drew McIntyre could come back and screw Roman out of everything. Maybe Paul and CM Punk could screw the bloodline out of something. I don't think the bloodline's winning this War Games match. Um, I'm going to come out with some predictions next week, but I'll give a prediction now. I don't think the bloodline, the OG bloodline is winning. This match. If they do win, it won't be with CM Punk's help. Because I'm getting vibes of, hey, you know, I didn't come back for you. I came back for him. You know, Punk pointing at Paul Heyman. I came back for him. I don't know, guys. If it was me booking it, I would go ahead and do a CM Punk heel turn. He's been a baby face. He's been with the company for a year now. Now, granted, for about eight months of that year, six at least six months of that year, he was gone with an injury. I hope that doesn't happen, but Survivor Series marks one year. And maybe a punk heel turn is something that'll freshen things up a bit. However, punk is on Raw and... Who am I kidding? The brand split doesn't make a difference. It rarely, in instances like this, it doesn't make a difference. So, but what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Could we see a CM Punk heel turn? What happens to Bloodline 2.0 when the OG Bloodline, if the OG Bloodline wins this match? Is the OG Bloodline winning this match? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll see you down the road.